It's always like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So this video, we are going to take a close look at this very strange looking handheld. And I must say, when I picked it up, I thought it was something like a game player or the One X player, the thing is called, like the very expensive Windows handheld. And they just made some like weird looking clone out of it. Yep, I'm not surprised. But let's take a close look at the back, which you can see like there is some information what this thing can do. So first of all, this comes with a 5.8 inch dis display. And they say it's an OLCD or something like that with a 1280 by 720. It does have support for it. It's basically like the basic majority of stuff that we've seen before. The old school arcade stuff up to PlayStation 1. So here we have like support. They basically are repeating themselves. 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128 bit arcade games. Yeah, so basically they are like now all arcade games. Okay, so do have like support for connecting handles. So I'm guessing you can use this thing like in game system I've seen before. But the weird thing is like you only have a maximum of 64 gigabyte SD cards that are supported. So that is not a lot. So I do have like a lot of similarities when it comes to the, yeah, I think the specifications, what you can do with it. They're claiming to have USB 3.0. What the hell is going on with this thing? Okay, so let's see. In here do we have like the handheld itself. Let's see if there are any other stuff ah but they're using a type c nowadays i'm happy we're going to get crappy headphones like we didn't just see those things for not very often anymore okay so this thing calls the xy09 operating instructions so let's see so what can we find in the toilet paper manual today this is the glossy deluxe edition you do get like a quick overview over here of the handheld what it can do and where the buttons are for Hmm. Let's see, is there any information about how long this thing will... Yeah, the only thing that basically how long it takes for loading it up. Alright, so let's take a close look at the handheld itself. Ta-da! Okay, I can tell you like they're using this river, like weird compound at the back over here. Like it feels kind of strange. We do have like this stand, like the Nintendo Switch, so that is interesting. I think you won't have like this, they call it, let's call this thing like the movie stand. It feels quite nice. I okay, hear like it's even clicking automatically in. Okay, so that is very nice. But let's remove the plastic and the other plastics over here. Oh, let's see if we can get it off. I can get it off. Come on. Ah, here we go. Oh, it's a very thick sticker. All right. No worries, Marmo today. So what we're going to get is a quite interesting coffee. Yeah configuration so it's more like mostly made out of like a rubber compound plastic or plastic with a rubber compound over it we do have like an hdmi board so okay we have a headphone jack out and put for charging the reset be kind of really very easy like reach it there is no sd card today so okay we do can turn it on and off over here and we do have like the usb connection this is absolutely not in 3.0 that they like mentioning on the box so that's absolutely lie so when it comes to button configuration, we do get ourselves the, it's not like a Nintendo Switch version. It looks a little bit like a Nintendo Switch, but the joystick is slightly different. But it do have like the click. I think it will not be configured to anything. The D-pad, yeah, that is absolutely like this horrible one button D-pad. Don't like those things. We do get the A, B, X, Y over here. They feel quite a nice. I really love the shape and the way how they place them. Then we have like the minus plus button over here. I think this was for volume control. Then we have like the escape or return button. Basically when basically in the game you can return with a single press. Select start. Shoulder buttons. But this configuration of shoulder buttons is pretty damn horrible. I hate those things. Alright later on we're going to open it up. Let's see if we can power it on. Let's see I need to like hold the, the on off button for a couple of seconds. Here we go. Do have like an indication LED over here. I really hate these things too because they are like very bright basically shining your eye okay so it's the same crap that we've seen before a little bit of a bummer other thing i really like is that we do have like light up buttons over here that's look very cool but we just have like the same stuff we've seen before you have like settings browser let's check out this is I, i'm a this has nothing to do with the internet you know see they're using the internet explorer the logo it's pretty damn naughty but it's absolutely doing anything. You can just listen to music. You can go into the basically the internal memory. And I'm guessing also the SD card. Here we do get ourselves the game system. A is nothing. You need to press B for basically going into this. 
game settings, built-in game. So you do see it like it supports all kinds of things. It set up some folders for you. Internal memory. Basically, this thing does the same thing like with the Internet Explorer logo. So it's kind of weird. All right. So here we have like these quick, really annoying shortcuts. The downside to this is you cannot change them out. So they are doing the same thing that we have seen before. All right. So it's a new, let's say a new kind of model with a new kind of menu. But the question remains, how are the games emulating? Because that is most of the time the problem with these things. All right. So here we can listen to some music. Yep, you can make playlists. Here we can basically watch a video. And that's basically what it is. And what you put, yeah, that's just pictures, ebook, and record sound. Yeah, okay. So let's also plug it in. Because this thing is almost dead. You can only see like there is only one tiny stripe on it. So let's load it up or load it up, charge it up, and let's try some games. And one thing is for sure, so when you're looking at the display itself, it looks amazing. So they're not, like, they're not lying, it's not an OLED panel whatsoever, but what they're giving you is absolutely an IPS panel. So that is an improvement when you're looking at the first models from the X-Series, for example. So the chip cage didn't even give me like a charger, so I'm going to use one of my own here. So take consideration that always handy they have like a phone charger, oh and yeah, a phone charger, not a fast charger. All right, so let's plug it in. All right, let's power it on. It indicates over here. And now we can try some games. Otherwise, we need to wait four or five freaking hours to basically return to the video here. All right, so the first thing that we're going to try is some Game Boy Color. But before we're going to do that, let's press the escape. I just wanted to show you what you get. So we do have like a quick load, quick save, but there is no way of changing out the XPS ratio. Some of these devices does have this option and that is not possible so far. No, with this yeah, this model is a little bit of a bummer. I just wanted to show you when you're going to get into the settings, display settings, you can see over here when I'm checking out, we have the sleep timer and the back light option. So that's basically what it is. So even at the ones, select tune, information, we can basically go to the firmware version. You can see the card if you have entered that. Format internal memory, never do that. If you're going to do that, you're going to delete everything inside. And of course we have the system reset. But that's basically what we're going to get. I just wanted to give you a quick look into the settings. There was no way of changing out the SPS ratio. Unfortunate, like with a lot of these cheap devices, we're only going to get one speaker. It's quite loud, but a little bit bummer only in giving you one of them. All right, so let's see if we can do anything over here. But everything looks like freaking super stretched over here. It's a little bit of a bummer if you ask me. You cannot change it out. But so far I can see in here everything seems to be working fine when it comes to the Game Boy Color part. So that's pretty damn awesome. You can use the analog stick or the D-pad. I'm going to tell you that it's not sounding like it should be. It sounds a little bit slow. I'm not like it's in Paul game or something like that. No, it's like it's really super slow. Not like it should be. I say the analog stick is a way better option than the freaking D-pad because that plays absolutely horrible. Alright, so next up, let's try some Game Boy Advance. And so far, I can hear and see CG running just fine. Alright. I have seen this before, that the emulator is just being messed up. Let's reboot it again. No, nope, that doesn't work. Let's see if we can actually play the game. Yeah, so it's like a bug, something. I have seen it before. 
You can see we have like a shitload of screen tearing. So far I can see there's no screen tearing whatsoever. So basically we have a force buttons over here and what you're going to get with the buttons is that we do have like turbo also if I'm saying correctly. Ooh. All right, so next up, let's try some main just to see how it runs. But so far, so good, to be honest. In combination with the display, it looks absolutely amazing. It's just a lot of fun to play. I don't hear any weird stutters whatsoever. This game, I have played it so much in the arcades back in the day. So cool. Okay, see, we do see some things are messed up. And it froze. Alright. So, great example what we're going to get. It's like shit. Alright, that sounds good. No weird things going on. Just let's boot up a game. And it seems to be for once they didn't mess up the Super Infamicom part. <laughs> Seriously, like with this game, I'm always getting my ass whooped the first stage. I really suck at this game. Did I just get this shit? Yeah, I can use a one up. Come on, come on. See, I cannot even get the freaking chance to punch. I hate this freaking game! <laughs> oh, this is so... But I do like the soundtracks. <sighs> See, that's the thing. Like, I cannot even like, land a punch because the biatches are starting to punch me in the face even I press the freaking button. But so far I can see like everything seems to be working just fine. But again, with the Super Famicom, it's always like if you go to test. Okay, so they were saying this thing runs PlayStation 1. So let's put it to the test. They added some, sometimes they added, they're adding or they don't add even some two-dimensional games. Yeah, those two-dimensional games will run sometimes. But it's just, it's just the 3D stuff that basically like gives it a great benchmark. And I can already hear from the audio, it sounds like shit. So let's see how it plays. Loading times. I run, run. <laughs> oh, slow motion taken. Run, run. It's kind of bummer that it sounds so horrible. Okay, I'm switching my buttons here. Whee! So that's a great example, some two dimensional games will run, but yeah, this is just actually what you're going to get with these things most of the time. PlayStation 1, it's absolutely like a freaking lie. Another thing I really don't like is when you're going to plug this thing into your HDMI television. See, it doesn't even work the first time. And I think the reason why, because we need to get into the main menu and set it to HDMI output or something like that. I have seen this kind of software, so let's take a close look at that and let's see if we can activate the freaking like settings or, in, or TV out settings. All right, so let's take a close look in this. Okay, let's go to settings because the HDMI doesn't do anything. Display settings, already shown you before, like it doesn't do anything. Advanced, let's see. Mm, I have no idea why this basically is. You know, that's kind of weird. Okay, date, language. It does have like a lot of languages. <laughs> it even got Dutch, that's kind of funny. But the thing is, there's no way of doing this, so what we're going to do is reset the device and hoping it will grab the HDMI signal out. Alright, yep, it's charging. Let's turn it back on. And let's see if it works. Alright, so we give it a reboot. Everything has been set to the right channel. But it does show me that I put in an SD card, but that's it, you know. So in my opinion, or I'm doing something wrong, but the HDMI function out doesn't work at all. Hmm, that's a bummer. 
All right, so I wanted to do this teardown and I realized something. There are no screws in here. Seriously, like you cannot really see it because you need to have the light in and the camera doesn't pick it up. Because I wanted to like do a teardown, but they already messed it up. Like, I don't know why, but they didn't add some screws to it. Like how bad of an assembly is this? So let's pry it open with some tools. Let's see if we can get some room here or there. I have to get myself a very thick one over here. All right, so let's click it open. Wow, that is some really bad quality control. They just slapped it together and they're not basically adding any screws. So I don't know if I'm having one or a couple of them in my storage. So I can put some screws in. You can see like everything is in here, the holes, everything. So it's absolutely made for it when it comes for adding screws. All right, so this is basically where we're going to get most of these devices. There is no option for a second speaker. So you can see over here also the holes are not open. So there's like a very thin plastic. You can replace the stand if it's getting broken, if you even can go to get some spare parts. Okay, so another thing I really don't like is the way how they assembled over here, the battery compartment or the battery itself. You can see they just soldered the connections over here. I'm not going to touch it on, I'm going to like short circuit this stuff. But if you're replacing it to desolder everything, I wish they have like the, the connection different positions because the, you see the minus cable is coming closely to the plus over here. There's not a lot of information on the PCP, but here we have like the ribbon cable that comes to the, of the front. And over here at the left, we do have the speaker. They use some hot glue to put it in place over here. So that's a good thing. And also they soldered this to the main board. All right. And the other side, I already shown you very briefly that we do get less of the battery. So there's not really a compartment. You can see like there is some piece of plastic. So we can use a bigger one if you have like a different measurement. You can see there is still some room left. And here we do have like the speaker. The funny thing is like the... Basically, the space where you can put a speaker is normally made for a different one. They just slapped another one in it. But that's basically it, what we're going to get. But the magnet does, like, touches the PCB over here. Yeah. Not a big fan of this all. Absolutely not. But the main board, yeah, which you can see over here, is just one big piece. And on the other side, you will find the membrane button. So doing a further tear down doesn't make any sense, in my opinion. I'm always buying these things pure out of, let's say, interest or curiosity. And yeah, just to warn you guys, because you see these things or maybe AliExpress, Wish, Amazon, you know, somewhere. And you're thinking, hey, this looks really cool. They give this very nice description to it. But when you're getting it at home, you're not going to get something that you would expect and know for sure. That's hoping um, you've seen this video before you're basically going to buy stuff like this. I really love the case and the design itself. It comes with a pretty good dis display. It has nice buttons. The D-pad is awful. The joystick is pretty damn good. But the software is pretty damn rubbish. And that is absolutely what we're going to get with this let me know in the comments what do you think of this i want to thank you for watching consider subscribing hit that little bell become a wicked family and it will be great to see you in the next video